While Ethereum is more popular and more expensive than Cardano, did you know that according to some analysts, the longevity of a cryptocurrency is not determined by how popular it is, its price, or its ranking? According to the crypto analysts, the success and longevity of a cryptocurrency depends on the use cases it has, and Cardano has an advantage over Ethereum in terms of use cases. Moreover, we'll share in this video what Hoskinson revealed why Cardano will beat Ethereum. Welcome to Cardano News. If you want to win 200 free ADA, see the comment section below and join our giveaway. Cardano, a cryptocurrency that is going to be more successful than Ethereum and also known as the Ethereum killer. To start with, Ether and Bitcoin were much smaller systems in a much smaller economy when they were introduced. Thus, it was not at risk for investors to invest millions of dollars in Ethereum and they were astonished by the outcome. So let's say we can get the ecosystem to become a multi-billion dollar cryptocurrency and there are thousands of people working on it, and now it is a billion dollar market. Simply put, from where it started to where it is today, there is a fundamental difference. For instance, if you build a car or an airplane, you are not thinking of safety at any point. You don't think of the success factors that come with it, the consequences that come with it. And if you build a car today, you cannot pretend the past doesn't exist, so you have to take different approaches. In other words, Tesla developed products according to the same safety standards as Ford and General Motors while also introducing new things in the market. With this, it became obvious early on that solid consensus design was a problem, especially if the plan is to scale with proof of work the way Bitcoin and Ethereum were doing. Therefore, it was was essential to use a fundamentally different method of reaching consensus, and even Vitalik accepts that. For that reason, F2 exists and they are attempting to remedy the situation. Nevertheless, we went a step further, calling on the entire paradigm of development to be rethought from first principles, including how people create dApps, smart contracts, and all that stuff. Moreover, due to the fact that sustainability was never built into its design, resource predictability was never a consideration. Furthermore, if you are in charge of building an application, you'd like to know what it goes to be predictable and there should be a predictable cost to get there. Otherwise, nothing will work. Meanwhile, the Ether was never designed for that purpose because it evolved into a successful project as an experiment. And the industry now focuses on building safer cars and this is why the first mover advantage in technology is often actually a disadvantage over time. Another instance is, Mosaic was the first web browser, and though it was revolutionary at the time, it did not accomplish much over time. Neither Netscape nor Internet Explorer led us to the Chrome age and maybe will take their place. In a similar vein, I believe Google was the 17th commercialized search engine. Before Google, there had been a lot of failures, even a monopoly was there. Additionally, Yahoo owns a large portion of the market, and they are very powerful, and before Facebook, MySpace owned a large portion of the market. Further, it now has to deal with the many new social networks that are blooming up and gaining traction. So if you are the first to get to the market, you are going to get a lot of population. But that platform will be unstable and people will be very frustrated with it. In other words, you're scattered with a lot of scars and legacy design decisions so you can't hold your ground and follow. It feels like holding sand between your fingers. Then the sand slipped through your fingers and you have a hard time staying on top. And there are all these other competitors that come along with hindsight so they don't make the same mistakes as you did. And they also know around where innovation is needed. In addition, they can move much more quickly since they aren't hampered by the legacy concerns you have. Consequently, they provide more features and get to the the market sooner. In this case, Ethereum has worked on a proof of stakes longer than they have with Casper. In spite of the fact that proof of stake was the first protocol to come to the market, Ethereum probably won't have theirs fully operational until 2022 just due to their legacy concerns and the amount of work needed to process the move. Moreover, there are many different approaches to make digital currencies and Cardano ADA is completely focused on becoming a proof of stake blockchain platform. And to make the world a more positive place, this coin provides a vision for enabling creators, innovators, and trendsetters to flourish. In addition, the coin's open source project aims to redistribute power from unaccountable structures to the borders, resulting in a society that is more transparent, fair, reasonable, and secure.
The Cardano network was founded in 2017, and it made an extremely early point when it reached the dollar mark. ADA, a native cryptocurrency of this coin, is designed so that owners are able to participate directly in the operations of the network. Further, Cardano owners will have the right to vote on proposed changes to the software, making it similar to the board of directors of a company. Recently, Cardano was in the news because of Charles Hoskinson's rebuke of David Hoffman. Scam is what Cardano is, according to a co-owner of the Bankless podcast. David is an Ethereum influencer who is connected with Charles Hoskinson, once a co-founder of Ethereum. Also, Hoskinson has voiced support for Cardano, which means it was superior to Ethereum. Yet this genius takes this creation on that is sarcastically brutal. In a tweet, Hoskinson said, as I quote, It's extraordinary. Every day, so many of these podcasters feel comfortable calling Cardano a blatant scam. It's one thing to say you are skeptical. It's another to call us criminals. This is crypto, crypto in 20. 21. Figure out why so many people want nothing to do with it. He simply mentioned the extreme views that these individuals hold, which are the reasons why Cardano is not given the trust it deserves from the no-coiner community. Similar to Hoffman's comment, the CEO's words will also have the same effect on Hoskinson's ego. Furthermore, Cardano and Ethereum have been battling coldly in Hoskinson's words. Hoffman's view was not valid since Cardano had been in the process of launching a proof-of-sale smart contract platform. During all of this, David Hoffman was explaining the data to support Ethereum's viability to Scott Melker, a cryptocurrency advocate known as the Wolf of Wall Street. His focus was merely to provide facts about Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559 to his viewers, and he also talked about that in detail. Also, the purpose of this program is to improve wallet UX through the implementation of a steady, predictable gas fee mechanism. And there is a deflationary element to this program as well, wherein miners get burned instead of being paid out. Further, miners oppose this method as it would likely reduce a large part of their revenue. Then, on the subject of Cardano being a worthy competitor to Ethereum, David Hoffman dismissed it during his conversation with Melker when Ethereum's new program was being described as virulent and earning the term Ethereum killers. According to him, Cardano lacks smart contracts and he is very skeptical about it. For him, aside from there being no applications or an app layer, assets, trading, and Uniswap, there are none of those things. In his opinion, Cardano is probably a scam and that he will put on his very skeptical hat. As for Hoskinson, he did not want to justify Hoffman's statements on Cardano's update regarding smart contracts, and Charles extended the same during his live stream about Alonzo's upcoming report. A critic of Cardano has already criticized its lack of applications. When a builder finds defects, doesn't it seem logical that he would modify his build? That is why Cardano is being developed in the same way Hoskinson Hoskinson agreed there were some parts that need development. Under some circumstances, however, no one should criticize the coin or the creator for lacking the characteristics of a finished product. Additionally, Alonzo will be the first launch of the platform's future products, and there are others that are being developed including DEX, oracles, stable coin offerings, and non-financial tokens. Also, Cardano released the Daedalus update, a feature designed to help users build native tokens on its blockchain, plus support for the project Catalyst fund on the 1st of April. On its official website, Cardano claims that the Alonzo update, which will introduce smart contracts to its blockchain, makes it the most decentralized blockchain on the planet. Considering Cardano's smart contract is much younger and more efficient than Ethereum in terms of its functioning and development, Hoffman was negligent enough not to have researched that. Lastly, Cardano serves as a platform for smart contracts, which is one of the biggest advantages of Ethereum. Don't forget to join the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.